everyone, today's video is going to be another Tesco weekly food shop. I know it's not been that long since my last one of these, but I've just found that since getting these more regularly, it just makes sense to film the videos a lot more. We get Tesco food deliveries every two weeks in our house and me and my housemate share a lot of things. So I think in total this shop came to around £45 each. And in this, it's like a few things that I'll get just for myself and then a few things that we'll share between us. And like I say, in all of these videos, it tends to last around two weeks and then we get another shop. And then maybe after the first week, we might get a few more fresh bits just to top up. But this is everything that I picked up this week. As usual, we're gonna start with the freezer bits. So I got a few different meat alternatives this week. I feel like I've got more than normal potentially. I got my classic vegan Dopsu chicken. This is two pounds. This is just my staple vegan chicken. I'm actually away next week, so I only picked up one of these because I'm not gonna be eating anything next week. So this should last me the few days that I'm at home. I also picked up a packet of vegan mints for two pounds. Gonna make a bolognese this week, so I'm gonna use it in that. Might also use the other half for some chili potentially, but just wanted like another high protein vegan option for dinner this week, so that is why I picked that. Down here, I got some vegan duck for two pound 50. Definitely shown this in a video before, but I have really been enjoying duck wraps for lunch recently. So I just cook a little bit of this with some hoisin sauce, put it in a wrap with some spinach and cucumber, and it's really, really good. And then finally for meat alternatives, I got these Richmond vegan sausages for £2.15. These, I think, are one of my favourite vegan sausages. I'm like trying to try all of the different options at the moment to see what I like best. These are relatively low in protein compared to some other vegan sausages, so that is the only downside. But I feel like taste-wise, these are really good, and I've really been craving more like sausage sandwiches and English breakfasts and things like that recently, so I feel like this type of sausage goes best for that. And then I also picked up some frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries. Both are £2.40 each. Normally I buy the mixed like frozen strawberries and blueberries bag, but that was out of stock, so I figured I'd pick them up separately this week and I'll just mix them myself, but I use this in my granola. I just defrost some in the microwave and then put it with like yogurt and granola and things like that. A lot cheaper than buying fresh berries, so I had to stock up on some more. Also, technically in my selection of frozen bits, I've got this white sourdough bread. This was £1.70 and it doesn't come frozen, but I have since put it in my freezer just because I like to keep all of my bread stuff in there to make sure that I can just pick out bits when I fancy and they don't go mouldy. This I've been having pretty much every day for lunch with tofu scramble, so I'm getting through it fairly quickly and had to buy another loaf. Moving on to the fruit and veg that I picked up, I got a big bag of onions for 65p. Me and my housemates share these so we get through them fairly quickly. We're planning to do a fajitas meal this week, so we'll use onions in that. Also, we'll put them in the bolognese, and to be honest, any other meal that we make, we'll probably use onions in some form, so grabbed another big bag. We got some close-cut mushrooms for 125. Again, this will be used in both the bolognese and the fajitas this week. And then again, for the bolognese and the fajitas, also got some peppers for £1.65. For snacking, I got this pineapple for 95p. This has definitely been my biggest addiction recently. I got one last week as well. I like to just chop it up at the start of the week. So I've got like chopped pineapple in the fridge. And then whenever I'm a little bit peckish, I can just grab some of that and it's super quick and simple. I also feel like 95p for a whole pineapple is really reasonable, especially when you compare it to the cost of like buying pre-packaged pineapple. So I've got into the habit of just getting one, chopping it all up in one go, and then I can enjoy it throughout the week. Also for snacking, I got these bananas for £1.4p. These are absolutely huge and are definitely not ripe enough yet. So I'm gonna leave these for a few days and I either snack on them or if they go a little bit brown, I end up freezing them and then using them in smoothies and things. I've recently got back into like coffee smoothies. So I blend up like frozen banana, coffee, protein powder and soy milk and it's really good. So I imagine that's where a lot of these are gonna be used, but I probably will snack on some as well. And then the final fruit item we picked up this week are these lemons for 55p. I tend to drink a lot of hot lemon water during the week, so I use them that way. 
or we'll make some sort of meal that includes lemon, whether that be kind of like guacamole or courgette lemon pasta is a really good recipe. We tend to just use them here and there and they obviously last a very long time. So we had to stock up on some more. And then the final few veg items, we got this aubergine for 85p, although I think this was on club card for maybe 59p. And this is gonna be for a katsu curry this week. We got a cucumber for 75p, which I'll either snack on or I'll use as part of my duck wraps. And then finally, got a big old bag of spinach for one pound. Again, I'll use these in the duck wraps. I also tend to throw in a few handfuls of spinach when I make my tofu scramble or when I'm having fajitas, anything like that, I'll use spinach as like my side salad. Next, moving on to the fridge items. I got two of these Plant Chef soya yogurts, Greek style for £1.35. I feel like I might have mentioned vegan yogurts in a past one of these videos, but basically I recently tried the Outpro Greek style yogurt and I really, really liked it. It's like a much thicker consistency than the normal yogurt but it's very expensive. I think Outpro yogurt generally is like £1.95 now, which is just, oh, it's outrageous. So I'm trying lots of different alternatives and I saw that Tesco do their own Greek style. So I figured I would pick that up this week. So much cheaper at £1.35. I feel like it's only 10p more expensive than the Tesco normal soy yogurt for the Greek style. So I'm gonna give it a go and hopefully it's just as good as the Outpro one. Also got two of these cauldron tofus for £2.50 each. Again, like I've mentioned a lot, I'm on a tofu scramble hype at the moment. So generally I'll use one of these blocks for two meals. So we've got four meals here. If I'm feeling less hungry, I could get three meals out of a block, but I'm hoping that these two blocks will last me two weeks with a few other meals thrown in as well. Although, like I said, I am going away next week. So potentially won't need the second one just yet but they do have a long date range, so that should all be okay. I got some Vitalite butter for £1.95. This is another thing that just seems it's so expensive now. I definitely remember buying this for like £1.20 previously, but it was the cheapest vegan butter they had, and this is definitely one of my favorites, and I'm running low, so picked up another one this week. And then finally for fridge bits, I got this Cathedral City vegan cheese for £3.20. I think that was on Club Card. I think it's normally £3.60, but this is a slightly larger block than you get for like Violife and other vegan cheeses. Definitely a very big fan of this. I feel like my favorite vegan cheese at the moment is the Violife Epic Mature, but they didn't have that on offer. So I figured I would pick this one up again. I really like the taste of this one. It's just very crumbly, which I feel like is just sometimes a bit annoying when you're trying to use it and it's like breaking into different pieces but it tastes good, so that is the main thing. And then finally, for cupboard bits, we got more of our trusty soy milks for 50p. These have been an absolute staple for me for the last like five years, I think, probably even longer. They're the only thing I think in my weekly shop but it's actually got cheaper over the years because I'm pretty sure I used to pay 59p for these, but I love them. I feel like you can't go wrong. 50p, decent protein content, I actually looked at a, a protein milk out of interest and the protein was lower for that milk than it was for this soy milk and it was like six times the price or something ridiculous. So I just feel like you can't go wrong and I'm gonna keep buying this as long as Tesco keep selling it. So I really hope they don't stop selling this at any point. Me and my housemate also got a big thing of olive oil for £5.30. This obviously will last quite a long time. We have one at the moment, but we're on the last few drops of it. So we had to stock up on some more. Got some microwave rice for 50p. This used to be 35p. So something else that's jumped up in price. But again, like I say in all of these videos, I just like having these in the cupboard for days that I can't be bothered. We did actually buy some actual cooking rice, like rice that you cook properly, not in the microwave recently. So we do have some of that left in the cupboard but I just like having this as like a, a backup in case we really can't be bothered to cook or we don't have much time. Having this just always saves a day, I feel like. So bought another one this week. Back here, I got a tomato passata for 45p. This will just be for the bolognese that we're making this week. And then in terms of cans, I got two cans of baked beans. These are the ones that again, I've been getting for absolute years. These used to be four for a pound. Last month they were four for one pound 50. And this month, they're four for £1.70, which is just insane once again. So me and my housemate actually split that offer, so I've only got two this week. And then I also picked up some kidney beans for 33p, which I'll probably make with the fajitas. I tend to do like a refried beans with these. 
and then also some green lentils for 59p that I'm going to put in the bolognese and then the final thing that I picked up is potentially a little bit rogue but I got these medjool dates for two pounds these were on offer I think maybe they're normally two pound fifty or something like that but I used to really really enjoy these they used to be such a treat and then I kind of just forgot all about them I was trying to think of some good pre-gym snacks and I thought these would be a really good option with some peanut butter or some cashew nut butter just for a little bit of a burst of energy before the gym, something really quick and simple. So that is why I grabbed those to try this week. So that is everything I picked up in this week's shop. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've recently tried something new at Tesco, please let me know in the comment below if you recommend anything. I'm always looking at new things to try and I feel like my Tesco shops are getting a little bit repetitive now, so I need to switch up a little bit. But otherwise, that is everything I picked up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.